This technique is for safe removal of hard cataracts. Once the capsulorexis is made, the phaco is used to make a central hole up to 90% of the depth of the nucleus. Engage the phaco probe from the vertical edge of the hole and perform the vertical chop to make two halves of the nucleus. Rotate the nucleus and engage the phaco probe at the opposite edge and repeat the vertical chop to make sure you make two halves of the nucleus. Depending on your preferred technique, each half can be divided into three or four fragments. Once the fragments are made, it is not difficult to clear the capsular bag from the fake cataract fragments. Let's see how it works on the real eye. Once you remove the superficial cortical matter, this is the step to make a vertical hole and it should go up to the 90% of the depth of the nucleus. And engage the phaco probe at the edge of the hole and perform the vertical chop. Now rotate the nucleus and engage the phaco probe at the opposite edge of the vertical hole and make sure you you get the two halves of the nuclei once the two halves are made each half can be fragmented into three or four fragments We have to make sure the separation of the posterior plate of leathery fibers. Once we are clear of separating all the fragments into clear pieces, it is not difficult to aspirate the fragments using phaco energy but surgeon must be very patiently wait because these leathery fibers take time to clear the phaco, phaco needle adequate size of capsulorexis and the careful hydro dissection with Good endothelial coating are other basic steps vital for the success. In between the procedure, we may have to inject dispersive elastic to coat the endothelium. And this technique is safer and use little energy to remove harder dense cataracts. When it comes to the last fragment you must be careful. <laughs>